Hello everyone, this is Pablo with Crafties915 and in today's video I'm going to address a question that one of uh, the subscribers had and that is, you know, how do you make a team number or a number with an outline uh, and have the registration uh, you know, correct and I'm going to show you how to do, you know, something like that uh, by adding a stroke to it so if you want to learn how to do that Stick around. We will start uh, with a new uh, artboard. And I will add some text and we're going to do that number 34. And there's many um, uh, numbers or many uh, uh, fonts available to you online. And so you can always go to the online font sites to choose a good font. And so for this one, I'm going to choose one that's uh, called Athletic Regular. Okay. And there's my font. Now I'm gonna convert this font to, uh, I'm gonna create the outlines for this one. So I click on the Create Outlines button and there we go. And uh, I can change the color of this to the color of the vinyl that I'm going to be using. So this will change to red. And then I'm going to add a stroke uh, to this. Now to add a stroke, you go to your stroke icon right here. Okay, and I'm going to add a black stroke. Okay. Now, when you add the stroke, if you click on the stroke uh, 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 lettering, uh, you'll see that you have uh, different options for your your stroke. You know, you have the cap, you know, to be a butt cap, a round cap, or a projecting cap. I'm gonna uh, leave it at uh, a butt cap, and then the corner, you can do a miter join a round or a bevel joint, depending on, on your, uh, your taste. I'm going to leave it at corner joint. And then the uh, align stroke, you can align it to center, you can align it to the inside, or you can align it to the outside. Now, if you align the stroke to the outside, when you cut this, your, your stroke and your inner color are going to be exactly joining at the same point okay and that's where you know a lot of people have uh, problems is that when you apply the vinyl i don't care if your vinyl manufacturer says it doesn't shrink most vinyl is going to shrink a little bit and so um what you want to do is you want to have the stroke alignment to the center Okay, and the reason being is that uh, when you place your stroke layer on top of your of your uh, number, on top of your uh, vinyl, you know, that outline is going to be sitting on top of the bottom layer of the, you know, the bottom uh, color. And so let me choose uh, align to uh, center. And then I'm going to increase the stroke. To about maybe 10 points and so that would be my stroke that's what you're going to see uh, as white and then this is going to be the number itself and if you can if you can see these lines that's where the edge of my red number sits 
and then my stroke will sit right on top of it. Now I'm not done yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to expand all of this. So I go to edit, I mean, sorry, I go to object, expand, and you get this dialog box, fill and stroke. You choose both and click OK. Okay, and now my fill and my stroke are two different objects. Okay, so if I choose my red section of my number, you can see that the outline of the number sits right underneath the stroke. Okay, and if I choose my stroke outline, it sits right on top of that red number. So that way you'll get good registration all the time. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a little trick that I've uh, uh, used for all my athletic um, numbers, uh, all my team numbers. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't have problems with, you know, the registration being off and, and uh, you know, having little gaps uh, in between. And so, now we're going to uh, send this to um, my, uh, my cutter. I've already saved it, you know, on my desktop. And so let's go to the Great Cut 4 uh, software. And, you know, before I do that, let me do something. Let me change this stroke because I want to uh, show you another trick um, on Great Cut. I'm going to change the color of the stroke to white, which is going to be the, the color vinyl that I'm going to be using. And you, know, you can see the white stroke right there. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And now let's go to gray cut four and uh, send it to the cutter. Okay, so in gray cut four, I'm going to start off with a, a new document and on my settings, I'm going to change my working area to the default. Okay. And now here is where we're going to change the color of the working sheet because I have a white stroke on the job that I'm going to import, I'm going to change the color of the working sheet to the color. Let's choose um, a color. Let's say, for example, that I was going to print that on a uh, royal blue shirt. And so I'm going to choose the color of the shirt and click OK. And so now when I import my number file, I go to File, Import, and I go to the desktop. There it is. Click Open. Click OK. And there's my file. Okay, and you can clearly see the stroke on that. If the, the working area was left at white, you wouldn't be able to see it, you know? And so let's go to the settings. And so if I would have left it at white, you wouldn't be able to see the, the stroke. And so that is something that you can do when you start working with uh, white objects, you can change the color of your working area. You can even change it to black if you want. Um, you know, I like to change it to the color of uh, the shirt that I'm using. And so for this one, I'm using a royal blue. And now I'm going to 
separate these into layers. And so I have a red layer and you can tell the working layers that you have available for this uh, object because you see those two little squares, you know, activated. That means that those are the layers that you have active on your object. Nothing else has those two little squares except those two. So if I were to cut my white uh, stroke outline first, I would click on the little eye icon here on the red and I, you know, that's it. It would only cut my white uh, uh, outline. If I were to cut my red layer first, then I would click on the white layer on the little eye icon and I would hide it and it would only cut my red uh, uh, layer, my red vinyl. Okay, so that is one trick uh, for you to use when you are working with numbers with a stroke outline is first in uh, Illustrator, create a stroke that uh, is aligned to center, and then you can hide the layers and cut them individually. Okay, and so I already have my numbers cut. And I'm not going to bore you with the cutting process on the machine. I mean, if you have this machine, you've already seen the cutting process. But let's say, for example, that I were to place this number right here in the center. And if you can tell, if I were to press this for about three, four seconds, it would be enough to tack on the number to the shirt. And then I would place my stroke outline right on top. And you would have a perfect alignment, a perfect outline with no gaps in between because you did a center stroke or a line to center stroke. And so that's how you do these um, numbers with a stroke outline. It's very important that you do it on an Illustrator or you know any any software uh, program that you have, you know Corel Draw or, or anything. Um, you know you do an align to center stroke so that in case your vinyl shrinks a little bit. You know you're okay with placing this over your bottom layer okay okay so thank you for watching thank you for watching this uh, very short tutorial on how to do numbers with a stroke outline um, and in case you're wondering I'm using regular uh, wax paper is uh, the kind that you use for your kitchen. Uh, you know, I use that to place my transfers, um, you know, while I'm uh, working with them before pressing. That way they don't stick to anything and they're easy to peel off. And so that's how I carry my transfers. Uh, you know, whenever I go to uh, pop-up markets or, you know, swap meets, you know, I carry all my transfers already pre-cut and pre-made uh, with this very inexpensive wax paper and uh, it, it saves them from uh, being stuck all over the, paper, the place. So I hope you learned something. I want to thank all my subscribers. You know, you guys are making this channel uh, grow and uh, I really thank you, you know, for that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hey, do me a favor and go ahead and hit subscribe. And we'll keep posting a little uh, more often. Uh, I hope that uh, you are learning as we go along. If you have any questions, please comment. Uh, send me an email. You know, whatever it is, uh, I'll make sure that I address those uh, questions, um, you know, sooner than later. And if I take too long to post, I apologize for that. But I'm trying my best between my regular gig, my, uh, you know, a gig with uh, the t-shirts, and uh, you know making these videos so thank you very much and happy crafting